<laughs> just me yep back out and it's uh friday after work it's about four o'clock there's no snow around look at the weather actually hedge hopes a little bit white i'm not going up there today i've just gone up here the crags i've come up there before and i'll tell you why because last week during that um snow camp of snow camp of doom i skidded and i hurt my knee it's been sore all week so rather than make it worse by going up a good big hill i had planned to go over the back of here but i've come out a bit later just to do a short walk short walk it's still bloody steep oh, all the way up there it is really steep but that's okay it's the long walk i think would have knacked us so yeah i'm looking forward to the um the clocks changing soon and then i can do friday camps and then saturday van trips which is what i'm doing this weekend i'll be in the van tomorrow check out the van channel I'll be in that tomorrow. Um, got a little plan of a little place to go. Whether I get there. It's a long drive, like. I might sack it, I don't know. To find out. But yeah. So it's Friday night. Friday night. David Gray. David Gray. It's my mate's called David Gray. It's not, not that one. Anyway enough blethering I'm going up there to the crags and find me little me little spot and cook some tea chill out with the beer the radio on don't know if I can get the phone signals it doesn't really matter as long as my radio works I like the music on I like to sit and listen to the music not everybody's cup of tea but it's mine right come back when we're out of breath halfway up uh, <clears throat> there we are the style of destiny let's come up there so we've just got this bit to do and then we're there so it's nice and short <sighs> nothing too bad look at the cloud coming over the the Cheviot and hedge hope ah couldn't be bothered going up there tonight over there the distance is the ones I want to go like up that path there it takes you to Broad Hope which I've counted them before there's no real there's no real top at Broad Hope it's more like just the path runs over the, uh, the summit but over the back of it's Broad Struther which I think is about it's about two miles or something I think you start from the back of there go over I don't know I'll find out I'll do it though when the light and nights are here. It's ran out of time a bit today. So yep. Here we go. To the steep bit. Up to the crags. And we'll come back at the top of there, eh? Back on the top of the crags. It's a hedgehog. A little dusting on powder. Saving the Cheviot. I miss them once a day. We're here. The, the, the crags of destiny. We're going to pitch up the top of there. First, I'm going to negotiate this grade one scramble. I'm going to call it Crib Gok One. After that famous block. So, let's negotiate this. Tell you what it is, right? Kidding and joking around that, but if you fall on here, you've had it like <laughs> you'd break yourself. You really would. You've got to be careful. You take, take them again, like it's so easy to stumble. You break your neck here, like for sure. Ugh. The wind has picked up. It's on me back at the moment. That's why I brought me um. Solo 
solo tent just a shelter from this it's coming from there it's cold and it's easterly i think southeastly maybe really it's cold it's a bit icy over it so we're just going to negotiate this bit this is called stride and straddle um oh that's it Whew. right it's mad from there didn't it? that shot there could be anywhere only a couple hundred feet up <laughs> that's it pitch there door facing that way good view on pulls out pegs ready always keep a tie up very precise about me tents like shove everything in there alright we're gonna get the setup come back when it's up and I'm in the shelter wind coming from there. I thought we'd get shelter here, I might do, but not at the minute. So here we are, high up in the crags. There it is. Magnificent beast. Getting hit from that side. I've got the door open that way. That's my view out the door. Better. Nice and flat inside. Good little spot. The guy lane's out. Dicey guy lane positioning over here, like. <laughs> You've got to be careful. Just be careful. Because it's a nasty drop, that. But yeah, that's it. It's a little bit chilly, but not too bad. There's a bit of shelter here. So if I go here, I'm out the wind. Well, my nose is running like a tap. So yeah, that's it. So we're gonna get set up inside. Um, and then come back. It's a bit early for a beer. But yeah, good, I'm glad. I'm glad that went up all right there. It's solid. And the wind's blowing the right way, so that's all good. So we're facing that direction, we're gonna get good view if that clears. I mean, it's a good view to start with. But yeah. Let's get the bag in and all the bits and bobs. Yes, there we go. I mean, everything's set up. Oh. Nice bag, pillow, a mat. I still don't know if it's silver side up or down. I don't know. I'm not plugging anything tonight. I'm just gonna use me my usual stuff. Oh, I've got another sleep mat coming to try it right here. I've got to use it soon to try that out to see if it's any better or different or the same really. Um, for bait, I've got some some beef in there, diced beef and veg, onions and mushrooms. I've uh, I've smashed my pasty, which is great. Bit of cheese for no reason. Radio. This this wind detector thing. Three degrees at the minute. Oh no, that's it. That's it. The degrees. Ah, it is three degrees. And I have got my fire maple cook set again. Get that on. Fuel. A pouch of many. I'm wearing the the jacket again, which is lovely, really nice. It was freezing when I stopped. And I put this on; it's just totally warmed us up again. My view of Hedge Hope. I was up there a couple of weeks ago. Go and check that video. That was good. Good night. Cold. That was that was a cold night. Chivy. I haven't uh, pitched on the very top. I have pitched on the far side of it. Scotsman's no. 
If you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. Well, I've gone a bit mad with the beer. So I've got a Beaver Town Tropical Sun God on Heathen Faith rebranded new new jacket Doppelganger from Vocation. Nice art. Northern Monk one, Tropical World. There's a few uh, tropical ones and uh, you know two, three, four, five, six. I might not get through them all. It just depends how cold it gets. Go to about there and then you start getting chill, you know, so they tend to come back. For anybody who says, oh, why'd you take so many beers up the mountain? It's none of your beeswax, right? If you don't want to take beer, don't take beer. Don't do it. But don't give me a hard time for taking a few cans. After a full week of graft, I just like to come out here, sit and chill out with a beer. You know, it's up, it's up to the individual. I get people judging me all the time. Just mind your own. Get on with your own job. Plus, the last few camps I've took about, I've took at least two cans home. So I might not even get through them. Ah, it bothers me, it bothers me that, like, you know, what are you like, me father? Drink as much beer as I want. I'm not like, I'm not in the blooming really dangerous area. Although that is quite a drop off, so you might have a point. <laughs> oh, I'll take it all back. Shit, I'm gonna not drink any beer. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it's looking like it might be a sunset. Quite nice. It's cold though, that wind's freezing. Really cold wind. So yeah, I'm gonna cook beef bourguignon tonight. See how that uh, see how that turns out. I've got 15 pounds salt. I'm not going to do any more impressions because I think the last time we did impressions was a bit inappropriate. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I, like, I like to be controversial. But yeah, anyway. Just something upcoming on the channel is another review, right, of a, um, another, another power bank. And I'll tell you why, right? It's a big 2,400 watt Bluetti AC 200L. That's what's coming. That's going to be... Um, I think March the 13th, the one that I published. That's Wednesday. So maybe the day after this video is out. But I've got to publish it on my main channel, right? I've got to do the review on my main channel. The reason I took it was because it's mint for the van. It's really, really good for the van. I can power everything for the whole weekend on it. It just. Ah, I could boil a kettle with it. And you can use it with a hairdryer, ladies. You can use a hairdryer with it. It's got 2,400 watts output. The kettle was, um, I boiled the kettle in the house the other day and I was expecting it to trip, but it was pushing out 2,640 watts. I was like, bloody hell. That's some unit, like. So I'm gonna do that that review. And then uh, I've got some flex tail gear stuff to review, a sleeping mat. And then I'm done. Then I'm done with the reviews. Because I think, I think uh, they're just getting too much. I'll take tents, right? I'll do tents. But I think that's it. I think that's it. Just tents. So if anybody's watching this who does tents, send tents. And I'll review them over the coming months. Anyway, right. I'm going to, uh, I might have a cup of tea actually. Doing the trick. The minute it's caught, like. I'll not be getting any more blue dark stuff, but this is mint. This thing. Oh, if, I'll, if I'm getting any, I'll be buying it myself. I'm looking at the shorts. I'm looking at the the blue dark shorts. A little mint for the summer. Give me that oh, I'm getting back in. 
oven. We uh, got the beef browning in there. Oh, cold, so a lot of steam. A lot of not ideal cooking in the porch like, but it's too windy out there. I've got this open, the vent's just coming out there. I will get condensation though, that's the only problem. There's not what you can do about it. It's the beef browning anyway. Got the, the black seen and the, and the onions in there. Black seen and onions, the Bovril cube, and the burger yog nog sauce. And I forgot the mashed potato. Ooh, I can't believe it. But what a minute, bring an extra pot. Uh, so I've got the brief. Brief browned and the, um, all the stock in. So there we go, I'm just letting that bubble away now. Let's put the sauce in, a bit of water. Nice. Tastes lovely. Put a bovril cube in to just give it a bit of depth of flavour. Problem is, the bovril cube was rock hard. I'll smash it up, I had to put it in hope it'll dissolve, I think it has actually. Yeah, that's looking nice. Thick rich gravy in it, look at that. Nice. Mm hmm Good. I have to let it I have to let it just sit and simmer for a while now. This is the thing about this, you just let it just do all that and just leave it. Forget about it for a while, let it do its thing. We'll come back when it's ready, I think. Whew. Oh my god. Excuse me. I'm uh I'm just sitting waiting for my tea to cook now. It's lovely, the gravy's really rich. Mmm. Thing is I've got to wait for the meat to get tender. Now with it's a bit, like, a bit tough because it hasn't had time to cook really. Would I? It's good that fry mate will set like you get you get a frying pan with it, you know. You get a little frying pan. I've never used that. Oh actually I have. I made an omelet in the back of my van. And it was good, totally non-stick. And it's quite uh, quite a good one as well, it's not thin, you know. Anyway. I uh, like I say, I'm just gonna I'm gonna post the the review of the Blue Etty power bank on this channel by the 13th of March, I think. So I'll have to do that this weekend. And um, what, what was the thing? I'll put it on the van channel as well. But it'll be really good for the van. I really really like it. It's excellent. It does not draw some power like. You know, when it output, the output of the thing. But yeah, I know people have had enough, like, oh, not another review on the bloody power bank, but this is good, man. And this is good for me as well, because it's because I've got the van. If you've got a van, it's worth having a look at this thing, like, not cheap. But then again, you're paying a fortune for leisure batteries, and uh, I think I was quoted about 1,500 quid to get a leisure battery in and wire it up with three pin plugs and the, the power output wasn't that much so this thing will uh, compensate for that but yeah i'm just sitting here chilling out I'll do a few impressions <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna do any impressions now then hey, you shouldn't do that you know it's frowned upon wasn't it uh, anyway. what it is right it's it, it's sort of like a mickey take highlighting how grotesque and ridiculous the man was so Roger, Roger it talks like that so ah, we'll draw a line under the impressions eh? we'll not do any more I'm not very good at them anyway you know I just I just pretend oh, that's it I'm sitting here with the radio on Radio 6 Music Festival it's really good it's been good all day good music 
good music. People talking about the different types of music. I like it. I like that sort of thing. A lot of people don't like the radio or the music on. I, I don't have it loud, so you know, if there was somebody else around, I wouldn't be disturbing. I get out the tent and I do a walk around to make sure nobody can hear it. And uh, all right, so it's it's not loud. It's just enough, just just right for me. So listen to a bit of music. Right, I'm gonna knock it off because um, well, I'm just talking crap. Nothing to say really. Nothing to say. Here we are. Right, this has been like sitting here for an hour, simmering away. So we will take the lid off. Ah, yeah. ow, ow. Oh, look at that man. It hasn't thickened up, but that's all right. It has a bit. Oh, come on. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, it smells lovely. It's got a thyme in it and all them, all them herbs and spices. One thing missing, isn't it? The mash. I need the mash. The buttery mash. Oh, look at that one. Carrots as well. Could add carrots in there. Oh, I know what to do next time. I didn't know if it would work or not. That's why I didn't put everything in. But that's just sat and simmered for over an hour on that one fill of. Uh, liquid fuel still going so that's it I'm gonna have that <laughs> Aye. I'm good like I'm some Gordon Ramsay so I'm not gonna sit and chow on uh, on camera tell you what it is I've got to dry this tent with a load of condensation that is the, the payoff Loads of condensation. I don't think it'd be condensation if it wasn't for that, because it's too windy and cold. So that's made it happen. Boah, it is chilly though. Why? But it's good. And the wind's supposed to pick up as well. It's, I think it's changed direction. It's hitting this panel now. It's coming on. That. That's the big panel as well. That's, that's the one that. You don't like on the red label tent this tends to like bow right in it's not so bad on this one it does come in but it's not as bad as the red label it was coming that way before from there from that direction and now i think it's coming that way so basically coming straight in the door which is great oh it doesn't matter it's gone anywhere i've been out and checked all the lines and it's, everything's fine right i'm on the faith I've got three left. I might actually finish them off tonight. What is it now? 20 past eight. Yeah, I probably will. Yeah, so what? So what? Eh? What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Nout, that's what. You're gonna die now. Right. Ah, it's getting a little bit wild now. The wind's picked up. It was meant to be um, up on Hedgehope, about 45 odd mile an hour winds, gusts and all that. And so I'm presuming down here it was gonna be a lot less. But yeah, I had a good night. I had that lovely, lovely food. It was beautiful, man. It was missing the, uh, it was missing the mashed potato. And I think next time if I do it, I'll put carrots in, little carrots. Um, but yeah, it was lovely, really nice. It took ages, but um, that um, the burner I filled it up with the bioethanol, and that lasted for the whole the whole cooking process. Oh, I think it's about it lasted for about like nearly two hours, probably. So that's all right, good. So that's it. So I'm just been listening to the radio. Six got the festival on. Gossip are on now. You ever heard of gossip? Good, the music's great. 
I've had to turn it off, obviously. Uh, I've got another can on there. I've got one left. I'm a bit spectacle about this one. I don't know what to make of it. I don't know whether to have it or not. Made up it tomorrow. Tropical world. Leave the tropical one to last. I'm having the uh, doppelganger now. That's the next one. So yeah, I've tied it up. Oh, they are the tie like. Once again, the pot is nice and clean. Just wiped it out. Good. A little bit of soot on the bottom, but that's all right. I think what, what people are saying is if you put um, a little bit of water in, it's something like 5% water into the bioethanol. It stops the black soot on the bottom. But if you don't do it, just remember it's got the black suit and it'll get all over your hands. So you've got to wipe that off. Just wipes off, like it's not a big issue. But yeah, looking forward to going to bed. I'll get the earplugs in. And that's about it, really. Nothing more to say. The night is night is good. Oh, more tea, Vic. Ah! Ah! Oh, something's come out. It's gone wrong. It's running down my leg like a hard boiled egg. <laughs> what a beast. What a beast. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. You can probably tell I don't care. Aye. So that's it. I'm going to switch off. I'll get up in the morning, have a nice cup of tea. Some more um, liquid in there. My cup. I've got my water left for me for my tea in the morning. It's just enough there. Um, that's it, really. Oh, I'm a bit tired. What time is it? Blimey, it's five past ten. So yeah, we'll see you in the morning. In the morning. Who says that? Morning. It is the morning. It's the next day. It's tomorrow. It's Saturday. Oh dear. And it is grim. Look at it. Not nice. It's not good weather. Which is luckily why I'm going in the van tonight. We. That's the joy, you see. Achieve it there, this cloaked in fog. Oh, it's bleak, isn't it? Bleak. Oh, anyway, I had a decent night. Two cans left. Two cans. That bright yellow northern monk thing. Something else. I'll just have them tonight. Oh, nice and cosy. So, what I'm going to do is put the tent away, put everything away, drop the tent off down to the valley and then I'm gonna make a cup of tea down there in the back of the van because that that stove takes forever to boil the water and I can't be bothered to wait. Too impatient. I'm just too impatient. I've got stuff to do you see so I'd like to get off. I normally I would have just sat there. Oh. Oh, I'll have a little kip later on as well. That was it. That was my pitch. It's not bad pitch. It goes slopes down a bit here. So you've got to be pushed further back. Oh, you could probably get a long, narrow tent there. Maybe it's even two. I don't know about up there, it's a bit bumpy in it. Right, anyway. I'm ready for the weather. <laughs> you feel the wind coming over over the top of you. It's gonna be wild, however, well, it's gone. Got my car keys, check everything, check your pockets, check check your area again, just one last look. There's nothing left. Good. We're off. And we're off. Now there's the wind. Already, 
my eyes are watering. Dangerous. 